This is not an error. I have invested over $250,000 in personal development as a business owner. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the best focus, the best use of your time, so that you can actually increase your business, be happier, and truly fulfilled. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Simon Lovell, the modern spiritual man and entrepreneur. Welcome to this video. As always, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get regular updates. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, also check out the playlists that I have on this channel just for you. So I'm an entrepreneur at heart and that started very early on uh, when I actually used to play video games. And from that journey, I created a publishing company and after that journey, I went off on my own. I'm sure you've had this similar journey, which is breaking free, right? And then starting you know, your own business. And so I really wanted to be successful. I wanted to make a million dollars and I created a vision board in 2013 of all of the things that I wanted. The trouble was, was that I was also going through anxiety, stress, depression, uh, a load of debt, and just, I was a mess. I was really living a double life. And I hired a mentor. I invested $30,000 in this mentor who taught me sales. But also at that time, as I started to make more money, and I made a million dollars in 18 months, I realized and I had the self-awareness to say to myself, Do you know what, if I'm making money, but I've still got all of this th these things that I need to deal with, like my trauma and you know, all of these triggers and relationships that were codependent, just so many things going on, I need to focus on me. I need to heal. And so I made that commitment. And so it started off with online programs, videos, and then it moved into courses. And the big shift really started when I invested in mentors and I invested in coaches and I went to events and I immersed myself. Uh, myself. You know, I went to you know, Tony Robbins, UT UPW, and invested in the Platinum Partnership and I traveled all around the world. I went to India. I did all of these amazing things. And so what is the upside for a business of a business owner working on their own personal development. Well, first of all, the big thing that it really shifts and shifted for me was fear. When I, I, I went from, I, I jumped from around, I think it was at the time, this is many years ago now, it was 60,000 per month to 100,000 a month. And I remember thinking to myself, this has not happened from a new strategy that I implemented. What shifted it was my own energy and me removing the th fear of what other people thought of me because that affected my action. You see, when you're worried about what people think and you live in fear, you don't do certain things in your business. You don't put yourself out there, especially as a solopreneur. Now, if you've got a team, then you need to be at your best so that you can install that new way of thinking. It's called conscious business. And so there's a wave and there's a shift happening, which is from entrepreneurs who are all about self. And th this happens through our stages of consciousness and our stages of awareness. We go from just being about ourselves to being about other people, right? We go from material success and getting the Ferrari and the big home, everything I did, to then shifting to be more about the service of others. And we create this illusion a lot of the time, which is, well, I'm helping clients and I'm, I'm giving them a product. That's not truly giving back. That's a layer of it, right? So for me, personal development really helped me to unlock that fear. But also, depending on the trauma that you've been through, depending on your past, you may need to go deeper. So for me, I did you know, plant ceremonies, ayahuasca. I did meditation retreats for 10 days, things like Landmark Forum, all of these things. And you know, when I work my, with my clients now through a program which I have um, you know, via modernspiritualman.com and Entrepreneur Evolution, you know, I don't even work on business strategy for at least a month. Why? Because I'm clearing up energy. And so that is what personal development is about. It's about bringing more energy into your system to change your thought patterns, to change your belief system, right? You see, every thought that we have creates a belief system. And that belief system creates our identity on who we are, what we believe that we can do, what we can achieve. And so you're watching this right now and you're at a certain life cycle, a certain stage of your business. Where is it? In order to move through to the next stage of your business and 
and, and really shift your business, we have to understand that what limits us is our own thinking. It's our own plateaus, right? That breakthrough comes from being able to handle different situations emotionally. And so committing to learn about yourself, and that's really what personal development is about when it comes to business, which is really understanding yourself, having the self-awareness to understand yourself better. How do we do that? How do we get more self-aware? Number one comes from in information and knowledge. We learn something new. We watch a YouTube video. Number two, we go inward. We, we spend time in meditation, and, and I have a specific way that I work with my clients to really get into the well, so to speak, to be able to release blocks and, 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 and access intuition because that heightened intuition, when more in flow n with a knowing of what to do versus a confusion of what the mind brings us. And then also, the way that we get self-aware is from the dialogue between coaches, mentors, uh, the people that guide us, but we have to be willing to be raw and honest and actually lay everything out on the table. And so when I have a conversation, you know, even before working with someone, I ask about 35 questions and that gets to the truth right, of what's really going on. And only then can I start to bring awareness to something based on truth. So if you want to grow to your highest potential and really work on yourself in terms of personal development, I just need you to make a commitment to go all in because that's what I did, right? You make a commitment to do whatever it takes, whether you're codependent right now in a relationship or whether you've got a lot of fear, a lot of anger. It doesn't matter where you are right now, okay? You just need that commitment to say, do you know what? I'm going to immerse myself. I'm going to invest in the people that resonate with me and use that intuition that you have to move forward with those that you feel that could really support you. Find out about their journey. You know, look, look at the results that they've got with the people that they have been working with. And just make that commitment because the more that you work on yourself and you commit a big chunk of your time, not to the business, but to you, you will notice that the business doesn't go to a new, just a new level of financial success, but it goes to a deeper level of impact. Why? Because you have gone deeper within yourself. You have immersed yourself and you've gone to a place that most entrepreneurs don't want to go. Why? Because it's scary. I don't want to bring in up that stuff from my past. I don't want to you know, deal with that. That's not the attitude to have. And I'm so glad that you're here watching this video because you're different. You're someone who's looking to actually grow yourself. And there's true power in that because you can become the catalyst of change to others, the, the employees that you have, the team members, the contractors that you work with, right? When you're happy and you're fulfilled and you're glowing and you're just in that place of just you know, I f I'm great. And it's not that we don't have difficult times and challenges, it's, it's that we don't stay there for as long, okay? So, if you're interested about learning about entrepreneurial evolution and how you can actually give back to the mission that I have supporting Kiva, which loans uh, to um, entrepreneurs all around the world who are unable to get funding for their families, uh, you can head to modernspiritualman.com slash evolution and check out uh, the mission there and on your journey just know this there's going to be ch challenges there's going to be tears there's going to be breakthroughs but if you just li start to listen to that calling of, of what to do through your intuition uh, and, and I help people access more of that intuition through uh, one of the big ways going inward you will live an amazing fulfilled happy life that's consistent and I know there are so many entrepreneurs out there who are living a life of, life of stress and we have the viewpoint that it, it needs to be this way, where it's normal to be stressed and anxious all the time. We don't realize when we get to the other side, wow, I look back and now my feeling, the way that I feel within myself is completely different. So understand you can run your business from flow and an amazing energy where it's not force, it's pure authentic power. I've got some other videos coming up for you. Check these out and I'll see you in another video. Take it easy. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If so, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get the regular updates. Also, here's a couple of videos that may support you further in your journey. Also, head to modernspiritualman.com where you will find about my deep mission to support men all over the globe. Take it easy and I'll see you very soon.